What's up guys? It's Tuesday down at Frankie's Free Range Meat. Sorry about the noise from the tape guns in the background between that and the condensers on the freezer. I'm losing my mind. Uh, so yesterday on Monday was when that USDA inspection video was filmed. So I decided not to do a vlog and then you know we'll talk today about what happened and uh, what else is going on this week. <laughs> but uh, the reason this video is titled Week From Hell is because, I, I mean, I'm done with believing coincidences. I believe I've been cursed or hexed or some uh, demons are going to come out of the cracks in the basement floor in this warehouse. So we lost between twenty-five dollars and $30,000 worth of retail meat products from that USDA seizure. That's, that's the bulk of the damage. Then between ten and 15000 was lost when UPS returned those packages last week, that's why we're shipping FedEx. And, and most importantly, guys, if you did not get your order, we sent everything out yesterday and today via FedEx. So please just be a little patient with us. It should arrive by Thursday or Friday. If it doesn't, then, then please email me and we can either issue a refund or uh, we can resend your package. Uh, the Frankie to Range Foods orders, we're a bit behind, guys. We have like 70 or 80 orders from last week. Uh, that we will try to send out by Thursday. Uh, same with the egg orders. The egg orders should be sent out uh, by tomorrow, Wednesday. So everything should be going out this week. So 25 G's in the meat seizure, 15 G's from UPS, that's 40. Um, the HVAC guy that stole the 3,500 uh, actually stole 5,500 because he said he fixed the front and the, the back AC heat units, but he didn't. So that's five grand from the HVAC guy. And then I had to spend another two grand. I'm trying to get it fixed now. So seven thousand dollars in HVAC work. That's forty-seven thousand. I had to spend six thousand in electrical work to make sure this freezer doesn't turn off, and um, and, and some other uh, some other miscellaneous nonsense. But I'm I'm just I'm just at the end of it, guys. So we're just gonna walk around. I'm gonna talk. I'll let you guys. Uh, know what's up and um, oh the meat will probably this is what we're probably doing be given away in New York City uh, the next weekend not not this upcoming weekend because I want to give people some time if they want to show up probably next weekend Saturday or Sunday uh, we're gonna drive down to the city and give away all of the meat uh, so uh, I'll make a separate video going to details about that but uh, if you guys do want some of the meat, uh, we will be giving it away next weekend, probably somewhere around Union Square, New York City. So people show up with coolers, I'll give you guys the meat. Again, I'll make a video detailing everything we're going to do, um, uh, maybe tomorrow or Thursday or Friday or something. But let's take a look around. So my guys have been boxing up about 70 more orders today, all FedEx. There we go, boys. No more UPS. My guys did make some vanilla best bars. We have plenty of pemmican in stock. Hopefully we have time this week uh, to make the chocolate and berry bars as well. So my guys made it through all the meat orders, but we still have, you know, maybe 30 or 40 egg orders to ship and quite a few of the foods orders to ship. So uh, by tomorrow we should finish with all that. Oh, so this freezer, Guys, it was leaking like crazy up there. I'll show you the video I took yesterday. I actually have to file an insurance claim because whenever it rains now, water literally just pours in from the roof. And my landlord isn't coming to fix it, so I gotta file a claim with the insurance company. And uh, hopefully they get it resolved before it destroys uh, my products anymore. Uh, I already lost all the Naturals products downstairs, but I'll show you guys that. So since the USDA released the product back to me for personal use yesterday, I have been able to take a look at it. I'm taking stuff from home to try. This is the Italian sausage. These are the hot dogs. Uh, these are the plain sausage. And this is the pork breakfast sausage. Uh, what's also in here is we have some bologna, but um, that's really it. We just, we just did these four simple products and uh, the bologna, there's some ham in there, but it's really just a lot of sausage, a lot of hot dogs. That's, that's all this is. 
a lot of bologna, but the other meat that we're going to give away, in addition to this being given away, is uh, some meat that, I, and guys, none of this stuff has ever been sold on the website. It was planned on being sold through the private membership association, but uh, they're not allowing me to do that. So we will have some, like a lot of ground beef and some roasts and steaks that will be given away as well. Uh, the state department still has to come down and give me my caviar and stuff back. So we have maybe seven orders, guys, uh, that are just waiting on brisket. We will send those out now. Chicken is available, corn and soy free, guys. Looks a little different from the summer pasture. So we got that available. Lots of whole chickens, but we have the parts as well. I don't think we got anything new this week, but we, we did restock some stuff. So you know, if you guys want anything, be sure to check out the website. Um, some of you guys were telling me to like uh, take donations uh, for a trip to vacation for the meat. Da, da, da. Again, I'll, I'll go into specific details in the video, but there cannot be any money exchanged for this product. And I'm sure if those USDA cocksuckers had proof that I was selling this meat on my website, they would have just arrested me. I'm 100% sure I'd be in jail. Um, thankfully, I never sold the meat on the website. So um, that was not a possibility. Oh yeah, so um, the, the water was leaking through the, the freezer ceiling into some of these products, so we had to throw some meat out. Unfortunately, you know, if, if it gets a lot of ice on the meat and it freezes on it, we can't take it off the plastic, it rips. You know, us not getting enough ice last week was actually a blessing because UPS would have sent back that many more packages if we had sent them out. Uh, I forgot to tell you guys, in addition to uh, the regular ice, we're also putting in uh, extra ice packs this week and we're putting in two free bites in with every order. So for like the rest of July, August, you guys are getting two free bison with your order and a lot of extra ice. That's probably costing me about $15 per order, but uh, guys, last week was a nightmare with UPS. It was probably more than 15 grand loss. I literally had to not only refund all the orders that UPS sent back, I had to refund a lot of orders that were delivered late and not on time. So something weird happened with UPS last week when they were overwhelmed and uh, I suffered because of it. Uh, so in the fridge, guys, I do have some cheese in stock. Uh, first time ever I ever forgot to restock anything last week. I was wondering why the cheese was sold out on the website, but we still had some, so that's gonna be restocked today. A lot of coolers, a lot of packaging material. This is one reason it's kind of hard to find a new space because you know, a USDA plant is not gonna have all this storage for uh, dry goods. So the USDA released all my stuff back. So we have the beef powders, we have the tallows, the lard, that's gonna be on the website. And we will make the, uh, the full spectrum organs hopefully with what's left. Uh, so this was the nightmare. So that water leaking from the roof comes through this ceiling down here and leaked all into my naturals products. So I had to throw out half of them. I got it. That's what I'm filing the insurance claim for right now mainly probably five, six thousand dollars worth of labor and materials. Uh, we did send out an email yesterday that all the water kefir is on sale because I have quite a bit guys. We got regular, we got the lemon, orange, pineapple, all the flavors are uh, in stock right now. So if you guys want water kefir at a price that I'm probably losing money on, uh, you can get some now. The Wi-Fi shielding products are finally in. I'll show you guys some pictures of them here and I'll list them by the end of this week but we have the regular canopies back in stock. Uh, we have a new dome canopy, which is like a tent, which is kind of nice because you don't have to hang it up. It's pretty cool, um, very cool, custom design. Then we have bed sheets that you guys have been asking for. So these can go like under uh, the mattress or under you to shield the bottom as well. And uh, then we have the fabric in to make the t-shirts and shorts and also some curtains to hang up. The curtains do not come with a rod but they're just standard window curtains and you can hang up the window curtains after using EMF blocking paint or material. Um, and the lead powder disappeared. Maybe we should change the title to $75,000 a week because I spent $9,000 on lead powder that never came. That was like eight or nine months ago now, whatever. Tired of people ripping me off. We'll see what happens this week. But um, th thank you guys for continuing to support me. Uh, best case scenario, 
Um, after we give that meat away, uh, we can have something where they'll allow me to do it if I have the specific paperwork so you guys can get all of those farm products. I'm not, I'm not sure if they'll allow me to do it because I think yesterday the guy said regardless of what I personally do, they will not let me sell uh, the farm meat even though they're allowing other businesses to sell it. So um, I'm not going to sit here and argue. All the lawyers are on their side. Every lawyer I've ever hired doesn't seem to care. You know, the corrupt system, it's, it's not really worth, worth my effort. It's, it's not, there's no set rules. There's no set regulations, guys. They're making stuff up as they go, and their, their goal is to just harass me and shut down my business. So whenever you guys say, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to move out of New York, you need to get a lawyer, you need to... Guys, if it was that simple, it would have been done already. But uh, I do appreciate the support and the concern you guys have. I'm trying my best. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll do the video on uh, the giveaway that's going to happen next week. And uh, maybe some other stuff moving forward. I'll see how I feel.